So I found out that my best friend's boyfriend is about to propose. But the problem was, he wasn't doing it the way that I thought he should do it. So I'm thinking I'm going to tell my best friend, yeah, it might ruin the surprise, but at least I know I'll be looking out for her. I'm 27 female and my best friend has been dating her boyfriend for over five years. A while back, he reached out to me to help figure out a ring size and the setup so he could make this the most magical day for her. Having known my friend for over 20 plus years, I know exactly how she wants her proposal to go and who she wants to be there, so I relayed all this information to him months ago via text message and over the phone, of course. I even took the time to covertly find and confirm which ring she would love the most. Here's a little background though. My friend is incredibly family and friend oriented and in the past expressed to me on multiple occasions, especially during holiday season, that in the five years they've been together, he hasn't really made much of an effort to indoctrinate himself into her family or friendship the way that she has for him. While I do like him, I've always felt that he's incredibly self-serving and self-focused. Recently, through a mutual friend, I found out he started a group text between his, emphasis on his, friends and his family to set up the time and date of the proposal. He's not only excluded myself and according to the screenshots I've seen, he's doing everything verbatim I suggested he do, but he completely excluded her family and other close friends from the event. He's planning on only having his boys and family present for the occasion. And knowing my friend, this would ultimately break her heart, not being able to share the moment with her loved ones. I got into a heated argument and I called him. At first he was dodging my questions, then outright said, quote, this is my proposal, and I've spent enough time and money to choose how I do it. Just be happy for your friend. It's not like you're not coming to the wedding. At this point, this infuriated me, and to make matters worse, I ran into her mother and father at the grocery store, and I subtly asked if they knew of any possibility she's getting engaged. Well... They were unaware, and I know for a fact my friend has told him that he needs to ask her parents for their blessing. She somewhat is traditional. My friend wears her heart on her sleeve, and I can predict how this event will go down when she sees all his close friends and family and none of hers. Considering her previous sentiments about his lack of interest in her family life, she's going to 100% see this as being hurtful and selfish, and I know she's going to cry. To make matters worse, the location of the proposal is a whopping 30 minutes from her parents' home. I don't want to get involved in a fight or reveal the surprise, but on the other hand, I feel I owe it to my lifelong friend to help her avoid being hurt and disappointed. Maybe even helping her rethink what her future would look like with someone who just doesn't really appreciate what she values in life. So my question to you guys is this. Am I the a-hole if I tell my friend her boyfriend is going to propose? What's up everybody, Mr. Redito here. So I do have an update for this story, but first off, let me go ahead and tell you guys Everyone in the comment section is saying, OP, you are the a-hole. With the top comment saying this, and I quote, Do not tell her. As much as you know her and want this proposal to go as planned, it's ultimately up to her boyfriend how he wants to do it. If your friend is disappointed, then that can be her sign to discuss with her fiancé about its moving forward. It's not your place to tell her or intervene at this point. That is when OP decides to reply to that comment, and it says this. Wow, since this is the top comment so far, I'm hoping my response here will be seen by the masses. Hello guys, let me make this super super clear. You're convinced me tenfold not to say anything to her, and to let things play out as they should. I've done the extent of what I can by trying to reach out to him, and he's decided to not listen to me. That's on him. 
It's not my place to initiate a fight or problem and possibly ruin things before they even happen. Trust me when I say I am not going to go through with it. I see now that this is 100% not my place regardless of my loyalty and relationship with my friend and would be making things far worse just by interjecting myself where I have no right to. But, on a side note, I really just want you guys to understand that at the end of the day, I'm a stranger to you. But more importantly, just like you, I'm human. Please don't make hurtful assumptions of my character or my relationship with my friend based on a very brief summary of the situation. I know as well that this is the internet, and by posting here, I've essentially invited such declarations upon myself, but I came here for advice since I've admittedly operating in an emotional state and nothing good comes from making decisions when you don't have a clear state of mind. All I ask is that you please be respectful and know that I've read and acknowledged that this has certainly earned a you are the a-hole judgment. Please just try for a moment to understand that we all have people in our lives we care deeply for and want only the best for them. And when we worry for them, it just can sometimes obstruct our judgment. This doesn't make me a bad person or friend, just utterly and completely misguided. Alright everybody, so that's the little update from OP in regards to the comment. However, I have a full update that came out 8 days after the original post and we are about to jump into a wild one. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome to Mr. Reddito Drama. I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's go ahead and jump into this update. So, on Saturday, the day of the proposal, I got a call from her boyfriend. To everyone who told me to keep my mouth shut, thank you. He was screaming at me. I'm saying screaming. Blaming me for not showing up since, you know, I was uninvited anyways, to the proposal with her parents because she was upset that they weren't there. I was ducking slack-jawed. I told him I knew this would happen, and he says verbatim, quote, You just admitted you knew this would happen, so if you knew the whole darn time and you actually cared about her, you would have intervened and invited them. Guys, I was gobsmacked and hung up the phone on him. Not even an hour later, I get a call from her asking me to come to her parents' house. According to her, this is how the situation played out. He popped the question. She said yes, and the people he invited popped out from the hiding. She was bombarded by four of his guy friends, his mother, dad, older brother, and his sister-in-law. His parents were holding a sign that read, Welcome to the family, and this is where things go downhill fast. I did not know this before, and I thought I knew everything, but my friend doesn't want to change her last name and she's told him that repeatedly since they got together. She's an only child from a Ukrainian family, and with everything going on with Ukraine in the last year, she's doubled down on keeping her name. When she saw the sign of her new name change, she joked, Uh, miss? No, no, no. I think you mean to keep my last name as how it was. Well, everybody goes silent at this point until his mother spoke up and said, well, the ring is already engraved. No changing it now, sweetie. She takes the ring off and sees the new name engraved onto the band. Then she asked if her parents were coming and he gave every excuse he could think of. Oh, uh, he didn't have their number. Oh, uh, there's too many people there. Uh, he wanted to keep it private and eventually said this number. This was my proposal to you, and now my family is your family. We can just send your parents the pictures later. Guys, right then and there, she snatched that ring off and left. That's when I'm assuming I got that call from him, and she went straight to her parents' house. She asked them about the engagement, and they were absolutely clueless. She then asked if I knew anything, I asked if she was in the right place and she said she was, so I told her I would answer questions that she had, rather than dumping everything on her at once. 
She was upset but thanked me and she was furious and I mean furious when I told her about the call from him earlier and said, quote, Does he really think I'm that shallow? She said it wasn't about having a perfect proposal or her parents being there. It was about him making the whole thing about himself as always. And she was done feeling ignored and belittled. So this was her absolute breaking point. She's staying with her parents currently and has been receiving text and calls from him left and right. The worst one was this so far, telling her she has to pay him back for the ring and for ruining his life. Right now, all I can do is be here for her and whatever decision she decides to make. I'll fully support her because, as you've known and all helped me realize, this isn't about me. It's about her. Well, not my monkey, not my circus. Alright guys, so this one was absurd. I want to know your exact thoughts of this one after the update because things did change a little. Let's read a few comments, and this one is about the boyfriend. So, I know it's tossed around like candy, but this is gaslighting, right? I didn't do it. It's not my fault, but if I did do it, it wasn't so bad, and it's actually your fault for not fixing it, and you should not ignore my plans, but if you really cared about her, you would have fixed it anyways. Yeah, seems like dude's pretty gaslighty to me. And then comment 2 says, To be honest, it sounds more like the narcissist prayer. That didn't happen. If it did, it wasn't that bad. And if it was, it's not a big deal. And if it is, it's not my fault. And if it was, I didn't mean it. And if it did, you deserved it. Guys, I would like to know your exact thoughts on this story. Go ahead and drop your opinions down below. If you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Consider subscribing and let's look at story number two with the title being Am I the A-Hole for wanting to invite my mother to my wife's planned activities? I'm 47 male and my wife's 42. We have two kids, a nine-year-old girl and a six-year-old boy. Both of my wife's parents have passed and her mom about 14 years ago and her dad about 5 years ago. My wife works in the medical field and works a lot of hours. During the work week, she typically goes for almost 9 to 11 hours and barely sees the kids in the morning. And only for a couple hours at night. My mother watches the kids in the morning for about an hour before school and then a little over an hour after school 4 times a week. So, she gets to see my kids probably more than my wife does during the school week. During summer break, my mom's usually watching the kids at least three times a week for eight hours a day. Now, my wife is excellent with coming up with activities to do with the kids on the weekend. Once or twice a month, it'll be planned events like Disney on ice, see a reptile show, even visit an apple orchard, see a play or musical at the local high school, etc. On several occasions, I wanted to invite my parents to some of these events, but end up getting pushback from my wife. My wife's argument is that she barely gets to see the kids during the week and wants some quality time with them. And if my mom comes, the kids will just ignore her and want to hang out with my parents instead. In her defense, she's right. My kids love their grandma and will pretty much ignore both of us when she's present, so... I see my wife's point of view. My mother's feelings then get hurt when she sees photos later on Facebook and wants to know how come she wasn't invited. Now, I'm not saying my parents don't get invited to anything because they do. They've been on two Disney trips with us and plenty of other occasions. But the majority, I feel, are the smaller local events that might last an hour. I just feel like recently my mom's been excluded more and... We had four planned events recently and we didn't invite my parents to any of these. So, I brought this up with my wife and a big argument ensued with her leading with this. Your mom gets to see the kids plenty during the week or when she's babysitting. My argument is that my parents are not our nannies and them watching the kids during the week isn't exactly fun time. 
I've told my wife I don't want to invite my parents to every event, but maybe every third or fourth event. But I still get pushback on this. I then ask, and I quote, If your parents were still alive, would you be excluding them as well, or is it just my parents for some weird reason? I know my wife doesn't hate my parents, but I know she sometimes gets annoyed because of conflicting personalities. My mother is 67 and my dad just passed away a few months ago. Life is sometimes short and anything could happen. I would like to see my kids spend as much time possible with their grandparents at this fun age. I don't want to make separate activities where I specifically invite my mom because it just makes the month too busy or we'll just end up taking the kids from my wife if she doesn't want to come with. So my question to you guys is, Am I the a-hole for wanting to involve my mother more into all these activities when my wife is pretty firmly against it? So there was a great bit of little information dropped in the top comment. At first it quotes this part of the story. I don't want to make separate activities where I specifically invite my mom because it just makes the month too busy or I'll just end up taking the kids from my wife if she doesn't want to come with. This is where the comment breaks it down and says this. I'm sorry, but this is the solution. You just don't want to hear it because it requires work from you. If you want your mom to be able to come out to outings with your family once a month, talk to your wife about one weekend a month being set aside for you to make plans for a fun family day that will include your mother. This will free up your wife a bit, and if she decides she doesn't want to come, well, women appreciate time away from their families too every now and again. Your wife is a grown woman who can make that choice for herself if she would prefer a day to herself or a day with her kids. Right now, you want to have your cake and eat it too. You want your wife to keep planning fun family events, but you want to force her to plan them in a way that you prefer. No. If you want to control who is invited to an event, you need to be the one planning it. If your wife is the one setting up activities, she's also the one who gets to decide who's invited. And if this is something that she wants to do with her family or with her mother-in-law as well. You're not wrong that it would be great to invite your mom along to your family outings though, but you are wrong and thinking you should be able to force your wife to invite her to events for your family that she specifically planned. Start planning things yourself if you want to invite your mother. You are the a-hole. So guys, I want to hear from you. Do you agree with this comment? Yes or no, and tell me why. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's stories. Come back tomorrow for a fresh video, and have a fantastic day.